ever notice, every time we go to the supermarket or grocery store, the food choices seem endless. We can buy products that are out of season or in exactly the size, shape, and color we want. If one item isn't available, there is always a substitute nearby. It's truly amazing to think about how every single ingredient inside each box, bag, or can of food we place in our cart has gone through a long journey to reach us. The massive variety of food options right at our fingertips makes it hard to even imagine a world with empty shelves. But by 2050, we will need 60% more food to feed an estimated 9.9 .9 billion people worldwide, according to data from the Food and Agriculture Organization. This soaring demand for food highlights a reality. Global protein needs are reaching a critical point where they will surpass current supply. In fact, global protein consumption has already increased by 40% in just the past 20 years, and it will continue to rise. That's why we will start seeing sorghum appear more often in our meals. With today's extreme weather changes, prolonged droughts are increasingly threatening food production. Farmers everywhere face more pressure than ever before to produce more while using less. That is why growing sorghum is becoming a sustainable solution. It thrives in drought conditions, saves water resources, serves as food for humans, feed for animals, and even as biofuel. Today, join us on a journey across the fields of this silent hero. Discover how advanced technologies and revolutionary farming methods have helped American farmers lead the world in producing, harvesting, and processing sorghum. We will explore how these advancements shape the future, ensuring sorghum not only survives, but continues to thrive, becoming a true champion of agriculture. In the United States, sorghum is also known as milo. It is a versatile crop and the world's fifth most important cereal in terms of production, after corn, wheat, rice, and barley. The U.S. is the largest producer of sorghum globally, with an annual output of up to 344 million bushels. This resilient crop rises tall across endless farmlands, reaching heights from 5 to 12 feet. Its sturdy stalks are crowned with dense clusters of reddish-brown grains standing out against the dry landscapes. Its incredible drought tolerance allows it to thrive in hot, arid climates making it a vital crop across a wide stretch of land from South Dakota through Nebraska, Kansas, Colorado, Oklahoma, and Texas. This vast region is known as the Sorghum Belt. The journey of sorghum begins in late spring, when soil temperatures reach about 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Soil preparation is essential at this stage. For farmers, healthy soil is the foundation of productive agriculture and a key factor in sustainable use of natural resources. When managed with minimal disturbance, the soil provides a fertile and nutrient-rich ground where crops can flourish, but if it is disturbed too much, the result can be loss of topsoil and severely reduced yields. To plant the seeds, Farmers use GPS-guided planters, ensuring each seed is placed in the correct row and spacing, maximizing land use efficiency. After planting, sorghum enters a growth stage that lasts from 40 to 60 days.
During this time, it develops strong roots, stems, and leaves, building the foundation for photosynthesis and energy storage. Throughout this stage, modern technology comes into play. Automated sprayers apply fertilizers and pesticides with precision, while water-efficient irrigation systems maintain the necessary moisture. The combination of traditional wisdom and advanced science enables American farmers to produce sorghum at a scale and yield that lead the world. One of the most remarkable aspects of sorghum is its sustainability and environmental friendliness. First, it uses less water compared to other grains. This is crucial because while we need water to grow food, we must also conserve the increasingly scarce freshwater resources. Second, sorghum absorbs carbon dioxide from the air. Too much carbon dioxide in the atmosphere harms our planet and crops like sorghum are especially effective at capturing it and storing it in their root systems, helping reduce greenhouse gases. Finally, sorghum is used to produce biofuel. Fuel made from plants and other living organisms instead of petroleum or gas. Biofuels release less pollution into the air and help protect the environment. After its growth stage, sorghum enters the reproductive phase, which includes flowering and grain development. The plant produces a flower cluster called a panicle, which eventually develops into the grains we harvest. Sorghum flowers are self-pollinating, making them more resilient in isolated or challenging farming conditions. As the grains mature, farmers closely monitor their color and moisture levels to determine the perfect harvest time. After 90 to 120 days in the fall, the sorghum grains harden and their moisture drops to around 20 to 25%, signaling harvest readiness. Harvesting hundreds of millions of bushels of sorghum each year is no easy task. But with the support of modern machinery and the artistry of skilled farming, American farmers have turned this challenge into a breathtaking symphony of precision, efficiency, and excellence. In the early days of sorghum harvest season, U.S. farmlands resemble a grand industrial painting. Massive combine harvesters, like the powerful war machines of modern agriculture, roll across endless fields. Equipped with GPS and artificial intelligence, they move like unstoppable steel warriors, slicing through thick stalks with unmatched precision and power. Their cutting depth and speed are finely tuned, adapting seamlessly to the terrain, ensuring maximum yield while minimizing losses. These machines are not just tools of labor. They have become symbols of resilience, innovation, and the unyielding spirit of American farmers. When grain sorghum is harvested, Streams of golden brown kernels pour into the massive hoppers of the combines, then are quickly transported to enormous storage facilities. After leaving the fields, the journey of sorghum does not end. It is taken to processing facilities where it is transformed into many different products. The first step is meticulous cleaning. Specialized machines such as air classifiers and vibrating sieves 
remove dust, debris, and impurities collected during harvest. This ensures that only high-quality, clean grains move to the next steps. Next, sorghum is sorted by advanced optical sorters, which scan each kernel and separate them by size and color, ensuring only the best grains are selected. During milling, sorghum grains are ground into flour for various uses. The process begins with roller mills breaking down the kernels in stages, gradually reducing them to the desired size. Then, sifters separate fine flour from coarser particles, redirecting the larger ones for further grinding. This precise combination ensures a smooth, uniform product while preserving the grain's nutritional value. This step is crucial in creating gluten-free sorghum flour, widely used in breads and baked goods, making it a popular choice for people with dietary restrictions, especially those needing gluten-free food. Finally, after being milled or processed into byproducts, sorghum is packaged and distributed to supermarkets and retail stores. If grain sorghum is harvested mainly for food, forage sorghum opens an entirely different dimension, taking harvesting technology to the next level. Standing in a vast ocean of green forage sorghum fields, humans appear small against the grand scale of nature, where life and labor intertwine. Forage harvesters, even more colossal than combines, march into the fields, chopping down towering plants and shredding them into silage. Trucks follow closely behind, rhythmically collecting the fresh, chopped feed. It is then taken to silos or storage pits, where it naturally ferments into nutrient-rich feed for cattle, sheep, and goats through the winter. From towering plants to every bite of silage, forage sorghum provides livestock farming with a sustainable and abundant source of nutrition. Together with grain sorghum, it paints a complete picture of American agriculture, smart technology, scientific management, and a commitment to leaving no part of the crop wasted. On the fields, the remaining stalks, called stover, are not wasted either. Specialized equipment cuts and processes them on site. If used as livestock feed, balers compress the stalks into dense, uniform bales of dry forage. These are then transported to farms, becoming a valuable source of fiber for herds over many seasons. The entire process reflects the wisdom and farming knowledge passed down through generations, now elevated by modern technology. It is the perfect harmony of tradition and innovation turning every harvest into living proof of American agriculture's creativity and strength. These mighty machines, silent yet tireless, are symbols of technological progress, sustainable development, and the pride of American farmers, the people who work day after day to feed an entire nation while protecting the land for future generations. As the world's leading sorghum exporter, the U.S. accounts for nearly 70% of global exports, reinforcing its dominant position in the industry. This crop is an economic pillar contributing billions of dollars to the American agricultural economy. Mm -hmm. 
sorghum can be used in many different ways to create delicious and healthy meals. One of the most common ways is to eat it whole, like rice or quinoa. It can be milled into flour for breads, muffins, cookies, crackers, or other baked goods. It can also be popped like popcorn. You can find sorghum in granola bars, cereals, chips, and many other products. It is becoming more popular because of its nutritional benefits. It is a plant-based protein source, rich in fiber and antioxidants, essential for a healthy diet. Moreover, it is naturally gluten-free, making it a perfect whole grain choice for people avoiding gluten. As a consumer, by choosing sorghum in your diet, you're adding a nutritious, gluten-free, non-GMO grain grown sustainably. You're supporting sustainable food products and farming practices. You are supporting farmers and their livelihoods, and you are making a positive impact on our planet. So next time you visit the grocery store, choose sorghum for your next meal, and even for your pets. Because by buying sorghum, you are supporting the farmers dedicated to growing one of the most sustainable and nutritious crops available today. Thank you for joining us on this journey across the golden sorghum fields. We hope this has given you a deeper understanding of the importance of this remarkable crop and the dedication of the farmers who grow it. If you found this video valuable or insightful, please leave your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our Radiant Farming channel and hit the notification bell to see more fascinating stories from the world of agriculture. See you in the next video.